who are we here with today? Um, my name is Manny. I'm a senior at UNC. Uh, man, where do, where do I start? Hey, guess what? Guess what? Just wait myself with Young. My nigga, I'm fine, and I feel like the yard. I'm rolling some gas to take out to the stars. You niggas be clowns like McDonald's and Rock. Can't fuck with the bitch, man, I see this around. The bitch with the lock on the head of the car. Bangers. Bangers. Anyways, I'm gonna get back to it, bruh. Song like is done. A punching method, and like just see like what we can piece together real quick, and just like go lay it. I'm a producer, audio engineer, DJ, videographer, social media manager, artist manager. I I, I don't know, bro. I, I do everything besides rap. <laughs> I do everything besides get behind the microphone. So, but yeah, when did you start realizing that you like producing music? I think like freshman year of high school. Um, like my mom bought a drum set when I was in seventh grade because I wanted to play the drums. She bought it. She's like, I asked her how to play the drums. She's like, yeah, sure. Bought the drum set, brought it into the house. I played like two hits. She's like, yeah, you're not touching this no more. And I was like, you, this is your idea, halfway. Like, you paid for it. So I still wanted to, like, kind of play the drums, so I started finding, like, computer programs that would, like, do drums. Like, there'd be, like, a bunch of random free drum machine sites. I'd go on and, like, you know, click some buttons. You, like, you'd get a preset pattern, like, simple stuff. And then I got bored of that, found more programs, got bored of those, found more programs, found FL Studio. And I was like, this is really cool. And I think at that same time, like, it was, that happened, and, like, Metro Boomin was going crazy with Young Thug and everyone else. And I just started getting into rap music. So I heard Hercules by Thug. And there's this, like, crazy 808 pattern he used on that beat. Metro used it on that beat. And I was like, yeah, I want to do whatever he just did on there. And I looked it up. He said he's FO Studio. I was like, I just got that program. I guess we should produce. Um, it kind of went from there. I think I've just liked it since then because uh, the first beat I made was garbage, but the 808 was hard. I'm like, this is cool. So just kind of been taking it since then. But so yeah, this is like this weird thing. Man. It's like eight years now, which is crazy. Like, but yeah. And no one would notice the sadness in my heart. Visionary, bro. He gonna do big things, bro. This DJing stuff, bro. This producing stuff. In about three, four, five years, he gonna be at the top. Yeah, nah. Look, man. Let me tell y'all something. Manny, Frogo, whatever you wanna call him, about to be the greatest in the world. Formula Entertainment, we going up. 813 the label, we going up. Y'all already know what it is. More albums, more music, more collaborations, more hits. We coming. We almost here. Matter of fact. We already here. Y'all get ready. 818, 813, formula. We on the way, man. We out. So we just gonna play shit that we feel that you should hear while you out here in the pit having a good time. So we finna just play uh, three more songs and then we might uh, play a little more chill shit and get out of here. So uh, here's song one, I hope y'all like it. I don't know, kinda just guessing here. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> the affiliates, nigga, pay attention. <laughs> They can't just get that shit right off the top. Like you gotta bring that shit back. Bring that shit back. Let's go. That boy Manny is absolutely genius. Like when it comes to anything in the studio, anything in, in music really. Like I, I'll be going to him for life advice, music advice. 
Uh, he's a supportive friend too. But like musically, like I can't even begin to explain. This man can do it. Like he can do anything and everything, man. I've seen him do like 20 different subgenres. Um, we got some stuff like in the works that's just like mind blowing. And I know that he does that with like every artist. I feel like he's really good at helping artists find like like themselves in in music. Also, like we out here on a Friday, it's Manny's first time DJing, and I think he's a prodigy or something. This, this is some of the best DJing I've heard in this pit ever. So I love that guy. Great guy. Um, yeah, that's all I gotta say. So I'm gonna do that. I gotta get my work schedule tomorrow. Hopefully they give me good shifts. Hopefully I get time off. If I get ideally I work day shift Tuesday, day shift Thursday, night shift Saturday. Whatever happens Sunday. I might pick up one more shift on like a Friday morning or whatever. I'd be like a, a perfect schedule because then I can do like sessions Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday night. I can make bad money Saturday. I can chill Saturday morning. Like, we'll see if we can get that. But yeah, I gotta get this tape done. So that's just like the main thing now. I gotta get started on the tape because February is a short month. March has spring break. So if I want this to drop before I graduate, it's gotta be done, you know? So. Busy man, eh? There's not too much to do, bro. I can do it. And then I don't even talk about the DJ. Oh my God. It's DJ shit. <laughs> uh, that's cool, man. There's a lot of it's, it's a lot of cool stuff. I'm just busy and tired as hell. Another day in the life. You know how it goes. Oh, Joy says she's free on next Tuesday, so. First session might be happening.